Pitch out to Smith. He's got the corner and the end zone. Touchdown. Over the middle. He's got his receiver, White. Makes a good move. He's going to go all the way at the five. Touchdown. On to return is Hummage. He's got Smith to beat. Can he get to the end zone? Touchdown. Going to the corner. Wrap up there. And he makes a catch. Touchdown. What a grab. There you see Granby and Notre Dame uh, coming onto the field. Their head coach is John Nowak. He's been there for a long time, and there come the Red Wings. And we don't like to see those teams uh, bump into one another. That's not, not good. Yeah, I never understood why. the officials running in and getting them apart. And uh, Notre Dame just going to their sideline, which is a good move on their part. South Dakota, of course, coached by uh, Dave Pfeiffer and Chris Hine. Well, the report is, Chris, the opening didn't work. So all the things we talked about in the opening, we're going to have to cover over the course of four quarters of football. And I thought it was our best one of our career. Oh, man. Was it ever. <laughs> right. Fans missed that one. Well, I'm excited just because these are the teams that are picked to win the Valley and unfortunately they have to meet in game one. Now you did mention a good point in the opening. I don't, even, I don't know if that got on the air or not, but uh, South lost to Hartford, a, a powerhouse in the state, and uh, uh, Luxembourg Casco, which is also a very, very good football team. Uh, Notre Dame defeated Denmark, who's got a, you know, they're all right. I mean, wanna, they got good athletes. Down. And uh, Fond du Lac Springs, which has got a nice program going, but uh, I don't think it was the same type of competition that uh, South played. No, absolutely not, and... Uh, you know, as I said a couple weeks ago, Coach Pfeiffer used to schedule teams to build some momentum to get into the playoffs, because you or excuse me, into the season to build uh, confidence, confidence, and things like that. Now he's starting to schedule some teams with a little uh, weight, and uh, there's no question Hartford was a heavy weight, and uh, Luxembourg Casco is also a very strong athletic program. There's Coach Pfeiffer. I did mention the opening, and there's Coach Hine. Both of these guys mentioned their team wants to be much more physical they up their practice intensity and uh, let's see if the results of the week's practice come out on the field. Moore is the center back and uh, they let it go and it bounces into the end zone. Hoytink with a nice kick and Notre Dame will have it first and 10 at the 20. We mentioned the wind in the opening I don't know if you, we heard that but uh, there's an extremely strong Strong northeast, more north wind. So Notre Dame will definitely be going into that. Kevin Rotherham is their quarterback to start, but he'll also play wide receiver. He's extremely fast. He plays baseball and basketball. He's a baseball stud, and he's a football uh, stud. <laughs> Hand off to Moore. He's hit hard. Behind the line of scrimmage, making the stop was Hoytink. Well, there's one of those linebackers. Call it a no gain. Anthony Hoytink. Uh, Kevin Rotherham was being looked at by 10 of the 11 Big Ten schools when I talked to him for football in the spring. He thinks he's going to probably play some baseball at uh, possibly Michigan State or other schools, but uh, he can flat run and he's got a gun for an arm. He throws about 84, 85 for baseball. Second down and 10, Rotherham, hand off to Moore again. He's through the line of scrimmage and hit and dropped again. Maybe a yard at most. Nice tackle made by Colin Johnson. Robert Moore at 175 yards last week on the ground against Denmark. But uh, having a tough goal right here. Brings up third and nine, and against this wind, I don't care how good of an arm you got, it's going to be tough. Third and ten. Fabry's the quarterback now, Marty. Fabry drops. He slipped down. No whistle. He must not, must not have had his knee hit. And then he's hit. The receiver is. Number nine is uh, Kevin Rotherham. Played quarterback a little bit that, that drive and caught a pass, but it's not enough for a first down. 
Yeah, you'll see Rotherham, he'll return kicks, he'll play some defense, he'll be the wide receiver, he'll be in a slot, he'll be the, the uh, quarterback, and uh, Andrew Fabry will be the other one. It's going to be fourth down and four, make it fourth and three. So a pickup of about six yards on the play. And whistles and a flag. See what this is all about. It's on south. It's a first down for Notre Dame. No. Oh, no. Boy, they had a great defensive stand, a three and out, and they get an offside. A couple weeks ago, the special teams was about the highlight of the day there when they lost to Hartford 27 to nothing. And unfortunately, the special teams just cost you a first down. Let's see if the defense can step up here, Marty. First and 10, ball on the 32. Make it to 31. Rotherham on a handoff to Moore. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. He burrows forward for maybe a yard or two. Again, good defense. There's Coach Hine. Second year as co-coach. Well, they're really putting the clamps on Moore. Yeah, they're not very original on their play so far, Marty. Notre Dame just basically going right and left. Rotherham in the shotgun now. Fabry wide to the right, wide left. Inside handoff. Moore cuts it back. He's going to be hit and dropped at about the 38-yard line. Pick up a six. Going to be third down and three. See what they come out with this time. Fabry or Rotherham in a third and short situation. Well, Rotherham is calling the signals in the offensive huddle. And now we get an official's timeout. Coming off the field for South is Lucas Bannock. And coming in for him is Zach Smith, uh, pardon me, Scott Smith. In the slot position is uh, Horning, number 48. Hand off to Moore, he's hit in the backfield and dropped. Great defensive play by Anthony Hoytink. There you get a good shot of Anthony. Flag down on the play. Moore maybe picked up a yard. And uh, it's on Notre Dame. Whiting is saying uh, we decline it. It's a holding call. They're going to decline it. It'll be fourth down. Pretty conservative offensive plays there for Notre Dame. And yeah, no, South better be uh, ready here, though, because you never know if they're going to fake it or not. Smith is back to receive this punt. Smith lets it go. Nice punt by Max McHugh. It'll be first and 10 south. Ball's gonna be spotted right near the 20 yard line. The referee is standing right on the 20 waiting for the ball. Now he gets it, places it right on the 20. Taylor Schwartz, quarterback, Ray Smith, the lone setback. Lancer, I believe that is, in motion. Inside handoff, Smith tries to spin. He's hit in the backfield, it's gonna be a loss. Well, as I mentioned in the opening, Ray Smith, 244 yards, but last week, he only picked up 79 of that 244 with 26 carries, so basically three yards per carry. And if we remember, Marty, he only had one big run against Hartford. So it, his, yeah. he's really they've struggled. Been, I was going to say, they bottled him up pretty good. You know, now they're running with two backs in the backfield. I believe that's Hoytink uh, is the up back, the full back. Smith in motion right up the middle. Pickup of maybe a yard or two. 
Yeah, there. By Hoytink. I heard some rumblings that they're going to try Hoytink at fullback, and for so long they had uh, Billman run in the fullback position. This year they tried to go back to a single back, and things weren't working, so they tried Hoytink, and we saw Anthony carry the ball here a couple weeks ago on a kick return or something like that, and the kid's got speed and could run a little bit, and he's solid, so try him at fullback. It's a good place to put your middle linebacker. Up the middle, Notre Dame to up to the task. That was to uh, Ray Smith, but not much going up the middle. Notre Dame's defense very tough. Actually, I think the ball carrier that time for Sheboygan South was Danny Diener, number 25. Give that carry to Diener. It's fourth down and seven. The kick is away by Hoytink. Drives the receiver back. He's got some room to run. He splits one tackler, slips another. He's in the open. Hoytink knocks him out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Making that fine return was uh, George Jaden. There's a name we've heard before. Good return, makes it first and 10, Notre Dame. Ball is spotted inside the 30 at the 29. A great return by Jaden. Yeah, really switches the momentum of the field position. Rotherham is wide right. Fabry is the quarterback. Moore on the handoff. They've given it to him a lot. And a good solid hit made by South Jeff Zelko. Well, I mentioned the opening that field position with the wind is going to be critical. And when you get a big return like that into this wind, really, really helps Notre Dame. Pick up a four yards. Whistle stops action. We've got offside on Notre Dame. The wow. wide receiver, Charlie Mathis, number 11, was ruled offside by the uh, line judge. Critical penalty too. South was late and coming out of the huddle. Notre Dame's out here and then they get the penalty. going to be second down and 11. Ball spotted right on the 30-yard line. That helps South. Rotherham is back at quarterback. Mork the carry. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage. Picks up maybe a yard, if that. Wow, well, neither team really opening up the playbook here. Just simple, driving it up the middle, left and right. It's going to make it third down and 10. Ball spotted on the 29-yard line. That's where they started this drive after the fine return by Jaden. Well, Green Bay, Notre Dame, number 75, Jake Collin is 6'5", 290. South looking to blitz. Rotherham rolling, 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 fires deep into the end zone. And he makes the catch. Making that fine catch was their punter, Max McHugh. And uh, when you mentioned that uh, Rotherham had a gun, we saw it right there. That was uh, technically semi against the wind. Yep. A little separation put up, push off there by McHugh, but uh, referees let him kind of jostle there. And, you know, probably a good no call. But unfortunately for South... Turns out to be a touchdown. McHugh's line drive kick is no good. And with 4.41 remaining in the first quarter here at South High School, Notre Dame grabs the lead 6 to nothing on a 29-yard touchdown pass. On a third down play, no less. Now Steve Reiner was up here and wrote us some notes. We have no replay and no breaks, so we get to talk all the time. Well, not the start that South wanted. All set up by the nice return. South came out with that nice defensive stop to get 
things started. But the second drive is a little shorter for them. And they got into the end zone. Let's see if Ray Smith gets a chance to return one here and give South some good field position. South able to dodge a bullet. They had him on a three and out, but then an offside penalty on the on the fourth down when Notre Dame was going to punt. Gave him a first down, but then they got him to uh, not get a first down on uh, three plays after that. But uh, could not generate any offense on their lone possession so far in the first quarter. Pick is fumbled forward, and looks like Notre Dame has it. I think making the recovery was Greg Harrell, number four. Ay, ay, ay. It's going to be first and 10 Notre Dame on the 29 yard line again. Well, defense got to step up here, shut them down. They were able to do it earlier in the quarter, and they actually. Seemed like they had him stopped. A fine pass by that young man, Kevin Rotherham. Netted their team a 29-yard touchdown. Moore, the lone setback. Hand off to him. He cuts it back up the middle. He's got room to roam. He's going to go to the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Great cutback by Robert Moore. No flags on the field. Wow. Wow. I think everybody in the South stands right now are just stunned by this quick start by Notre Dame. They're going to be going for one here. Talk, thought maybe they might go for two, but still early here. McHugh, and there's a flag before the uh, kick attempt. Illegal substitution on Notre Dame will push him five yards back. McHugh looks to have a strong enough leg to kick it from five yards further. Rotherham is going to do the holding. Max McHugh. Not a good snap. Rotherham is going to try and roll. He does. Looking, looking. Little Fran Tarkin in action. Slips by two tacklers there. Still on his feet. Throws it to the end zone. Intercepted. Making the interception for uh, Sheboygan South is Kyle Reuter. Flag on a play, Marty, but I would think that they, somebody might be, you know, a legal man downfield right, or something. Yeah. No. Nope. Holding Notre Dame. And uh, South is going to decline it with uh, 4.29 left. Notre Dame leads it 12 to nothing. Well, let's see if South can get something going on this possession, Chris. Well, you got to start taking baby steps. A couple of first downs would be yeah. nice. Move yourself down the field. You cannot hang your head and think this ball game is over. There's way too much time left. Kickoff is deep. Whiting chasing it. It goes into the end zone. That'll make it a touchback. South will have it first and 10 at the 20-yard line. That was impressive. <laughs> really? Into the wind. <laughs> Holy cow. You know, I don't know how Green Bay Notre Dame does it, but they sure seem to get a lot of athletes. Yeah, they certainly do. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know, and that's what makes them pretty special is they get, you know, they get 
talented players, special teams, nothing. They don't have a lot of drop off. Taylor Schwartz on an inside handoff to Smith. He takes it up to uh, maybe the 21 or 22. Not much. We'll give Smith a yard on that play. Make it second and nine. White tanks back in there, Marty. We're going with the two the back eye. set. Yeah, the eye here. Smith in motion. Shorts dropping straight back. Quick hitter to Duquette. He's got it. And he's down at the 40 yard line, but a nice pitch and catch. Shorts to Duquette. Nineteen yard pickup on that play. Just a nice little inside slant play. Good hands there shown by Zach. Lancer. Lancer's wide open. So Looking Duquette. to the middle. Duquette's got it at the other 40-yard line. A 20-yard pickup. Oh, there's a hanky down, though. Oh, no. Let's hope it's on Notre Dame. I think it's going to be one of these. Did they have enough guys on the line of scrimmage deals? They're going to pick it up. Yep. See, I saw Matt Mertz, and you know, as an, a, a receiver, you got to ask. The official, and if they nod their heads or things like that, they did that, and that was a good job by the officials to talk to each other, but that's what I think they're talking with. Did they have enough men enough men up on the line of scrimmage? And uh, saw two things there, Marty. You saw Lancer was open there and Duquette there. That stuff, put that, bookmark that, and remember that for later. That little flat pass might come in real handy later in the ball game. Duquette is wide to the right. Smith the deep back, he takes the handoff, tries to bounce it outside and does. We get a flag down. Smith picked up about five or six yards bouncing it out, but it looks like it's going to be uh, against South. A holding call. There's two flags down, Marty. Yep, flag at the end of the play, so it might be uh, no play. Not sure how they'll rule this. Holding on South. These officials are calling a lot of stuff already. <laughs> Well, they didn't call the one. That was a good one. <laughs> well, how many penalties haven't been called? Or, I mean, uh, taken. Oh, well, there must have been two penalties on South. Well, this penalty is going to take uh, South back inside the 50 to the uh, 49. That makes it a second and a first and 20. Pitch out to Duquette is a little bit wide and outside. Notre Dame kind of disguised their defense, I think, a little bit there on Taylor. I don't know if it could have been a zone. Kid got a little hand up there. I'll have to watch that more closely because I wasn't sure. Travis Brunette is wide. Duquette is in the slot. Halfback option. Pitch to Smith. He slips one tackle. Slips another tackle. He gets it up near the original line of scrimmage and over that. So a nice pickup by Ray Smith on the quarterback option. Well, despite the fact that Notre Dame won a week ago, they did give up a 247 yards on the ground to Denmark. So got to keep, you know. Pounding away. Yep. Pound sand, pound sand. Keep working that, that uh, line there and let uh, Smith do his work. Just a junior, Smith. Third down. Schwartz drops it. Notre Dame comes up with the fumbled snap. You know what looked like there, Marty? Looked like the center snapped it and the other ten guys weren't sure because there was... All of a sudden there was the ball and there's nobody moving. It just didn't seem in sync right from the get-go there. I thought they were going to get a motion penalty or something. Either way, it's a 
another bad thing. First and 10, Notre Dame. Well, you talked about the baby steps, Chris. They did it there. They were able to put together a couple of nice passes and a nice run. Penalty certainly hurt them. Rotherham on a draw play to Moore. Hoytink brings him down, but not before he picks up about six yards. We're at uh, just about the two-minute mark. Give Moore six yards on the play. He's carried the ball nine times already this quarter, Chris. Second down. I think he's going to get a lot of carries. Moore again, up the middle. He's going to be dropped just short of the first down, right at the 50-yard line. Picks up three yards. Third down and one. Ball spotted right on the 50-yard line. Bring out your big boys. Bring out your elephants. Got to get a stop here. 52 yards and uh, 10 carries so far this quarter. South looking to blitz. Moore gets the handoff. He's got the first down and then some. He spins down inside the 40-yard line. Ball is going to be spotted right on the 40. That's a 10-yard pickup. Fifty seconds remaining. It's first and ten. Notre Dame ball spotted on the forty-yard line. Rotherham back fires a bullet to his receiver who fumbles it. Now they're going to call it incomplete. Fabry making the attempted catch, but uh, was not able to hang on. Good hit there, I think, by number twenty-three. Jamin Opka North there. Made that initial hit. Second down and 10. 35 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Notre Dame on top, 12 to nothing. Draw play to Moore, he bumps into his own man and is stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Hoytink on top of the pile, along with Steve Bakhti. 20 seconds remaining, running down. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Notre Dame gets a playoff. I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd wait for the wind. Rotherham is now calling him back into the huddle. Coach from the sideline is yelling, let the clock run out. At the end of one quarter of play, Notre Dame on top, 12 to nothing, and they have it. Third down and 10. Next week we'll be uh, back here against uh, Manitowoc. Manitowoc is playing Sheboygan North tonight up there. You know, they had some storms and things that went through there about 6 o'clock. It was all red and things on the radar, so that didn't look good. But uh, Manitowoc will be coming into uh, South. Manitowoc is 0-2 on the year so far. Two tough, tough opponents for them. They played Cedarburg and uh, Homestead, who was a perennial powerhouse. Our first game at Sheboygan North will be in two weeks. We'll be, where Green Bay Southwest, who's picked right in the middle of the uh, league, will be uh, traveling to North. Don't forget, later in the year, we will be uh, having Sheboygan Lutheran slash Kohler Play Cedar Grove, one of the favorites in that league as well. That'll be in October. Not a first half, or excuse me, first quarter that South's happy about, but they're only down by two touchdowns as we start play here in the second quarter. All righty, third down and 10. South jumps offside. Right in the middle of the line, you could see the linemen uh, trying to anticipate the uh, snap of the ball and popped ahead a little bit too far. And uh, that's going to cost the Red Wings. 
10 carries for more already? 10 carries for more. He had 62 yards in that first quarter. Wow. And uh, that was the rushing <laughs> totals for Notre Dame also. Make it third down and, well, that penalty was on Notre Dame. Third down and 15. Rotherham back, being rushed, pushed out of the pocket. Coming up hard and making a slam, but coming back and making a catch for Notre Dame. With the number of that kid? 11. Number 11, that's uh, Charlie Mathis. <sighs> what a pitch there for uh, Rotherham. And now it's the end of the quarter. Notre Dame decided to take a timeout before to, or excuse me, South did to make them go against the wind, and it uh, didn't, didn't work. work. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, in the second quarter yet, Marty. Uh, we'll or excuse me, the first quarter. Yep. Well, they had three completions in that quarter. That last completion, I believe, was for 21 yards. Is that right? Uh, no. They're at the 40. We got to see where they spot the ball. No, they had the penalty, so they're back at the 50. 45. It was actually the 45. 45 down to 45. To the 11. 35 to the 11-yard line. So that's a 34-yard play. Wow. Into that wind, and that ball was thrown up there for a long time. That 69 yards passing in the first quarter. It's going to be first down and 10 for Notre Dame. Ball spotted on the 11 yard line. Notre South has their work cut out for them. Notre Dame already on top, 12 to nothing. Wide receivers left and right with the slot on the left. They're coming in motion to the left. Rotherham in the shotgun, hands off to Moore, trying to go wide, cuts it back, and he's hit and dropped. Anthony Hoytink making the nice hit. Pick up of about uh, three yards on the play. They can get a first, Marty, too. That's not going to help. I know. Moore, second back through. is hit at the line of scrimmage and then pulled back. No gain. Well, they move it up maybe a yard. Whole flock of Red Wings there. Good swarming defense tonight. You know, it's been the passing game, really, that's hurt him. Well, Moore had the one cutback run, but... He has been limited for the most part. You're right, except for that one... One long run. Yep. He's carried the ball a ton. You know, 14 carries already in the ball game. Two more big downs right here. Fake handoff. Rotherham all alone out here to the right. He's fast. He's getting into the end zone. He just made it to the corner. Dove in and scored. Kevin Rotherham. Chris is speechless. I don't know if it's speechless or shocked. Well, we knew they were good, Chris. Yep. Well, they're not been good at this so far, so Let's see if they can convert an extra point. McHugh drill that one up and through. With 10 with 1037 remaining until halftime, Notre Dame on top, 19 to nothing. There's a nice shot by Brian. See the kind of the ominous clouds, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, I don't care if it rains because I'm indoors, but uh, we don't want lightning because then there's definitely uh, normally a 30-minute delay. 
I think once you have a stoppage of play because of lightning, it's an automatic 30 minutes. At least that's what it is in baseball. Yep. So that's the kind of stuff we don't want to see here. <laughs> Um, of course, our fans that are watching don't care because we just turn off everything. <laughs> we come back from a short break, and it's the ball game again. Whiting takes it, makes the catch in the end zone, and that's going to be an automatic touchback in uh, high school football. I'll tell you, Whiting is a missile out there on defense. Boy, he really can cover ground. He can throw, too. Good baseball pitcher. Yes, him and uh, Kevin Rotherham will be by far the best two pitchers in our league next year for baseball. And uh, unfortunately, Notre Dame has another guy, too, that's going to be pretty good, too, by the name of Phil Cabot. Brunette and Duquette wide left and right. Schwartz sends Duquette in motion. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. Snap. The center forgot to snap the ball. Everybody else went, though. Taylor Schwartz will be a good pitcher in the league too, by the way, and he's just chopping at the bit to get this offense going and see a little concern on his face as well. Saw his dad earlier as the uh, cold front came in and he still got his polo short <laughs> shirt on and his shorts. <laughs> he's too stubborn to get a sweatshirt. By golly, it's still summer. It's not fall for another two weeks. First and 15, again Duquette in motion. Fake handoff, Schwartz rolling, rolling, fires to Duquette. It's broken up by Rotherham. Also looked to be a huge lane to run there with. Yeah, that's what I thought. He had Lancer out in front of him. The, guy, the only person out there was Lancer and the guy covering him. Thought he might be able to pick up a good chunk of yards there. Instead we're worse than another tough situation and you know you're right Marty penalties haven't helped South either turnovers and penalties turnovers have been really key that kickoff you know after they scored and they got it right down almost in the red zone I think you know put it in there actually it was at the 29 yard line but still inside hand off the white tank and then uh, Taylor pulled it out and they rip him down behind the line of scrimmage going to spot it right at the 15 so no gain for Taylor third down and 15 Ooh, it's tough to manage this kind of yardage and again they're now going into the wind two wide receivers to the left one to the right they got to get to the 30 Marty Taylor straight back now he pulls it back and he's going to run but he's going to get dropped, and now we get a flag, a late flag. I think it's, uh, well, we'll let's wait and see. Will they have the penalty on? A lot of penalties by these guys tonight. Holding on south. Notre Dame will probably decline, and it'll be fourth down. It's got to be about the tenth flag we've seen already tonight. Schwartz sacked. All the way back to the 11-yard line. A loss of four on that. It's going to make a third down and 19. Clock should be rolling, but it's not. Hoytink's kick is away. Not a real long one, but he does get a little friendly balance, and Rotherham picks it up. And then it's fumbled. Notre Dame got it back. I'll tell you, there's three wet Red Wings all around Rotherham, and he managed to get the ball back. Colin Johnson was the closest to gathering it in. The first and ten, Notre Dame. 9.36 remaining in the first half. Ball is spotted right on the 43-yard line. Officials time out. Not sure what for. Fabre is the uh, quarterback. Rotherham is the slot out on the left side. Moore is still the deep back. In front of him. 
is Joel Rosnick, number 40. Lines are set. Every picked off! Taking it to the house is James Good. Touchdown, South. Great read by that young man. You got that right, and whenever South could use some momentum, that was the play right there. Just a good read. You know, when you got Rotherham out there, you know, you got to know exactly that he's capable of getting the ball, and I don't know if Good knew what was happening, but that was the right thing to do there. Get right up on him. What a read, and what a turn of events right there for Sheboygan South. 57-yard return for a touchdown. Alex Eisner boots it and splits the uprights. With 9.25 remaining until halftime, South on the board. It's 19 to 7. Wow. What a momentum changer right there. Notre Dame had it all going. South needed a score. I was going to say it's almost time to get a score for the offense. They couldn't do it, but your defense steps up and makes a play. Let's see if they can take that momentum from that interception and use it when you go back there out on the field. You're definitely right, Chris. They needed something to pick them up, and uh, hopefully that'll be it. Yeah, you have to know where Rotherham is at all times, but again, Notre Dame, you're up by three TDs. You're at midfield. I don't know. I don't know about that play call, but. Hoy Tink teeing it up. Moore is the uh, middleman. Hoy Tink a low liner. Taken by Garrett Wellhouse, and he's hit and dropped by Nate Zittle. And the ball popped out of there too, but the officials blew that one dead. Let's see if South can get a big stop right here, and don't be surprised if number nine is your quarterback again. Ball spotted right on the 30-yard line. Rotherham back at the controls. Hand off to Moore. Picks up a good chunk of yardage there, Chris. Well, Notre Dame's offensive line got the better of it. Well, they are huge. Their center is Nate Sidney, 245. I believe that's Harry Sidney's son. Ball on the 37-yard line. A pickup of seven yards on that play by Moore. Hey, there's Ken Risto. We got Jeff Risto down here in front of me. Phil Risto working the the uh, score and the yard things. And there's Ken in the stands. Moore takes the handoff. Tries to cut it back. Nothing doing. Picks up maybe a yard or two. But very little. South covered the lanes that time, Chris. There was no cutback action for Moore. No. Jake Collin, I said he's out there, 6'5", 290. He's number 75. He's another one of the offensive linemen. And these guys are huge. Alex Globlowski, he's 6'7", 235. He's manning the other tackle position. So uh, they got bookend big houses out there. Let's see if South can get a big stop. Third and two, Moore has it. Ooh. Hit in the backfield, but he slipped by a tackler. Spins off another tackler before he's finally pushed back. But he got it out to about the 43-yard line. It'll be a first down for Notre Dame. And a big first down for Notre Dame. Nice spinning move, move by uh, Robert Moore. Spun off that tackler, was able to get the first down. They're going to spot it at the 44-yard line, so make it a gain of six.
7.45 and counting. 19-7, Notre Dame on top. Fabre hands it off to Moore. Slips by two tacklers right up the middle. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. It'll be 56 yards. Long plays, Chris. A 29-yard touchdown pass. A 29-yard run. And now this 56-yarder, they just can't have this. You know, they got to cut down on the big plays. You know, they play them tough, but then they give up the big one. Moore way over 100 yards rushing. Extra point is good, makes it 26 to 7. 7.30 remaining until halftime. For you people that are interested in college ball, two former South High Red Wings will be on the field tomorrow in Madison. Western Illinois travels there. And Ricky Jones, former big offensive lineman for uh, South, I believe plays for Western Illinois. And Will Hartman, defensive standout, is trying to get on the field a little bit. Special teams player, I believe. He's just a freshman. I think they redshirted him. He's a redshirt freshman, freshman, I believe. Yeah. Two Sheboygan South players have made it big. And there's been others. I remember Ricky Jones interviewing him. My gosh, I could have stepped. <laughs> Looking up to him, huh? <laughs> I need a stool <laughs> to step up next to that guy. Smith has it on the six, up to the 20, and he stopped at about the 24-yard line. Be first and 10 south. They're going to spot it short of the 25, so we'll call it first and 10 at the 24. Well, I kind of mentioned it before, but it's getting pretty imperative that you get your offense trucking and maybe get some points on the board here. Defense did it for him so far, but you're right, and all the offense needs to get it going. Smith bounces it outside. We got a hold. Holding call. I can guarantee you that. I could see it. Yep. We won't mention names, but it is going to be on salt. The hold actually happened in the in the backfield, so it's going to get marked from the 23-yard line back. And again, South finds himself in a deep, deep hole. Turnovers and penalties. Makes it first down and 21. Schwartz drills it a little bit too high, making the leaping attempt was Travis Brunette. Taylor Schwartz 0 for 2 so far in the quarter passing. In the first quarter he was uh, 2 for 3, hit uh, Duquette twice for 39 yards, a 19 yarder and a 20 yarder. Second down. Smith slips by a tackle, runs over another one before he's wrestled down outside the 15 yard line. Got it out to uh, the 16 or 17 yard line. Let's make it the 17. And another third and long. There just has not been a lot of third and shorts tonight. No. It seems like for South it's always been third and 15 or third and 12. Outside pass is uh, gathered in, but uh, Brunette was out of bounds. He was juggling it. So it's going to go as an incomplete pass. And 
that'll make it fourth down. Anthony Hoytink, the left-footed kicker, gets it away, drives Rotherham back, and he's going to let it go. Takes a nice bounce for South, and it's going to be downed inside the 40 at about the 39. Nice punt. It's there in the wind. Well, Robert Moore has 74 yards this quarter, Chris, to go along with his 62. That's 136 yards, and we're only in the first half. 619 remaining. I'll bet he gets the ball a few times this uh, possession. Rotherham inside handoff. Moore bouncing outside. He's open. He's going to go again. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. He's too fast. 61 yards. Oh, man. Just like that. One hundred and seventeen yards in the last two carries, Chris. Well, McHugh's got it down now. He missed the first two, but uh, nailed the last couple. Last three, actually. This isn't any fun. That's it. 33-7. to seven. Green Bay Notre Dame came in here and getting the job done. Give credit where credit is due. McHugh's made the last three <laughs> after missing the first two. McHugh's kick is away. And uh, Hoytink is going to take it. He drops it and has to go into the end zone to pick it up. So it'll be a touchback. Be first and 10 south at the 20-yard line. And in the second quarter, Chris, uh, south has uh, not generated much offense. There's very little red on my sheet. Yep. And where the blues are, they're very short, too. <laughs> Well, South had the ball for uh, a minute five here in the second quarter, Marty. Well, yeah, it's hard to generate much offense when you have that kind of lack of uh, possession time. Uh, another penalty. Five yarder on the Red Wings. Legal procedure. First down at 15, ball spotted on the 15. Boy Tink and Smith, Smith the deep back. Taylor Schwartz straight back, fires it to Duquette, makes a good catch, spins off a of one tackler, and is pounded down outside the 25 to about the 27. Well, Duquette having a nice night tonight, Chris. Three catches, four? Three catches. Pick up a 15 on that play. Pick up a 10, pardon me, it's second and five. Taylor put it in, White thinking and pulled it out, and then he wrestles forward. I think he lost the ball. I think he had it stripped away from him. Let's see what the officials call. They might have had, uh, yes they did. They had Taylor being down. 
now Kevin Rotherham kind of picking at it there. Well, that's a good way. It's what you want to do. First on 10, ball on the 37. Ball is swatted by McHugh, picked up by Notre Dame's Kevin Sheehan, and he's going to run it in with a fumble recovery. Well, McHugh's been doing it with the kicking and that long touchdown catch, and now the long arms on defense forced a fumble. And his teammate, Kevin Sheehan, picked it up and ran it in for the touchdown. It's going to be about a 35-yarder. Good snap, set, and kick. And that makes it 40 to seven. Well, <laughs> stunned, shocked, really don't know what to say. Just uh, get all excited all week, and then uh, things just don't work. And uh, well, this is for sure. There's still five minutes left in the first half, and it's 40 to seven. And uh, Notre Dame's a good football team, but I don't know if they're 33 points better than you in a half. Smith makes a catch at the one, out to the ten. All white shirts in front of him. It bounces off of one of his own men, spins around. And we get a late flag coming in. I don't Boy. think he got it out to the twenty, Chris. Boy, these guys throw a lot of flags too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do. I mean, I'm not saying they're not all penalties and things, but good grief. This is most likely going to be against South, and let's put them inside the 10 again on offense. Special teams not doing their job tonight either. Just, uh, I think I said in the opening, you need a total team effort on defense. You need a total team effort, period. And it's right actually now it's been a total team breakdown, Yeah, unfortunately. Just, yeah, just too bad for the kids. First and 10 for South, ball on about the 8. And we get timeout Notre Dame. Now they don't think they had enough guys in the. They may not have had enough people on the field. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no breaks tonight, as you mentioned before. So Hey, you know what, Chris? This never happens when Scott's here. <laughs> no. Had a nice talk with Terry Scherschel before coming back up to start the ball game. He's all excited about uh, the new field house and, you know, getting things set up uh, for TV20, the educational or the district's uh, TV station. Yeah, enough. There's uh, nice press boxes for us, too. Yep. Inside handoff. I'm not sure who made the, the carry. That was number 25, Danny Diener. Diener seeing pretty much action tonight. Pickup of two yards on that play makes it Second down and eight. Diener's just a junior too, so him and Ray Smith, just juniors. Smith up the middle, bounces off a couple of tacklers, fights through. He's got a chance to take it all away. Rotherham is going to catch him and drag him down inside the 20 at about the 16-yard line. Great run by Ray Smith. 
I'll tell you, that Rotherham can just flat fly. Yeah, there's a reason maybe why he was a preseason pick for uh, most valuable player in the conference. Big run there for Ray Smith. Got him a little opening, and you can see what kind of speed he has. I think that was about a 73-yarder, Chris. We'll have to figure it out later. First and 10. Ball is, uh, we'll call it the 17. Smith up the middle. Drags the pile down inside the 15. Said this a couple weeks ago. You run 73 yards and you got to get the ball again. That's tough, but uh, hard fighting yards, like you said, Marty. Big five yards for more for Ray Smith. Getting closer to pay dirt here with 3-3-3 three, three, three left on the clock here in the second quarter. Second down and six. Smith takes it. Going to the outside. Tries to cut it back and does, but he's dragged down inside the 10-yard line at about the nine. like to see him run to the corner there. Try to outrun those guys. They want you to come back inside, Ray. I don't know. If maybe their coaches tell you something else, but they want you to come back in to flow towards the, the Notre Dame guys there. But that's uh, going to pick up, what, third and short? Yeah. Third down. Less than a yard, actually. Second back through. Smith, he bounces up high. He's got the first down, but not much more. Another flag down, though. This guy just loves throwing his flag. <laughs> Procedure. Penalty south. It's going to be third down and about six yards now. Hand off to Smith. He's not going to get much. Close to the 11, maybe. Picks up three yards. Well, you got to go for it. No question when you're down 33 here. Obvious statement there. That's why I get paid the big bucks. That's right. <laughs> Schwartz under center. Smith the deep back. Diener the up back. And whistle stops action again. I'll tell you what, buddy. Stick it in your pocket. For what? Illegal procedure on South. Remains fourth down, but let's make it uh, fourth and eight. I'd like to know for what. I mean, I was watching that set. I have no idea who moved that time. Time out for South before they run this play. There's 137 remaining in the first half. It's not a bad timeout. It's 40 to 7. I know that uh, Coach Hine didn't want that timeout, but you know what? You got to get it. You got to have your best fourth and nine play right here. You got to get some points. Our next, our, I was going to butt in here for a minute. I know you mentioned this earlier, Chris, but our next ball game will be next Friday when uh, Manitowoc invades Sheboygan South. And uh, right now, as we speak, North is up in Manitowoc playing that ball game. That's a big one for them. They want to get uh, get off the Schneid also. Yeah, they. I, I know, know you mentioned all that, but you no, know, they got. I don't know what they're doing up there. Matt Rosie, one of their big players, was in a car accident this week, and I don't know if he's playing. He's a fierce competitor on defense, and a couple other guys banged up, so. I wonder how North's doing up up in the uh, up in the Northwoods there, huh? Yeah, by the ships. All righty, fourth down and eight. Yeah. 
Yep, your best fourth down play right here. Diener is the up back, Smith the deep back, Schwartz is the center. We got uh, two wide outs to the right. Reggie rolls. Nope. Schwartz drilling it right in the middle. Duquette, what a nice catch. Goes straight ahead to the end zone, but he's knocked down just short, and we've got a penalty. I think that's going to be on Notre Dame. You're right, they don't miss much, do they? God, they're <laughs> right out loud. I mean, it's every play. It's got to be about 15 penalty flags down already. And there they got a face mask. 15 yard uh, pickup. Another catch for Zach Duquette. He's got 25 yards on two catches. It's first and goal. The ball is spotted actually inside the one. We'll call it the one. Smith pounding into the end zone. Touchdown south. Now South moves over to get in the traditional extra point position. Eisner's kick is good. I'll tell you, I thought Shane had a great opportunity to block it and he chickened out. <laughs> he didn't lay out for that. Come on, Kevin. All you're good for is picking up a fumble and running at 80 <laughs> yards for a touchdown. What is that? Yeah, the quick strikes have just... Uh, They've really hurt South. Yeah. Now, before we get all these Notre Dame people calling in, we're just kidding. <laughs> Kevin is a fine young man and uh, did a great job on that fumble return. And uh, <laughs> But he did chicken out on the blocked extra point. <laughs> it's 40 to 14. There's 115 remaining. And... Uh, We've got a mini emergency here, Chris. I'm at the bottom of the sheet. Uh-oh. Maybe we'll just uh, go back to quarter number two because we had a couple lines left there. Been a long second quarter, Marty. Very. Kickoff is taken at the 15-yard line. Running right up the middle. Us looting one tackler. What a great run. Made by Garrett Wellhouse. That young man made a nice return, Chris. Wellhouse, and he hasn't even carried the ball yet. Let's see, where did he pick it at? About the 15, so that's a 35, 45 yard return, about. There's, uh, I think that was Mr. Noltner. Yep. Jacob, he's out, out for the rest of the season, I believe. Andrew Fabry is that quarterback. Uh, he is going to throw. Uh, they wanted to hand it off to uh, Moore, but Moore ran right by him, and Fabry said, no, not me. You mean I got to run with the ball? But he did a fine job, picked up five yards. Well, there's 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Notre Dame does have two timeouts remaining. They better not take them. Second down and five. I think it'll depend on this play, Marty. And I think they're going to score. Moore takes the handoff. Hoytink missed him, and he spins down inside the 30. First down. Timeout, Notre Dame, you're right. You're gonna try to get it in one more time. Well, and you know they can kick it. Kid's got a strong leg with the wind. 21 clicks on the clock now. Six yard pickup by uh, Moore. I should add up his rushing totals for this quarter real quick. 
77. Don't bet Smith. Oh, no. Oh, did I write it on the wrong thing? No. Nope. Wrong color and everything. Jeez. No, I think that's right, Marty. Yeah, it is. It's on the wrong side. Oh, down there. Yeah. Here they go. Hey, they held him that time, though, Chris. He had a 56 and a 61 yarder. That time he only had six. There anyway, he putting this right. one up. Watch number nine. Bab Ray yep. is Co the quarterback. Yep. Cover two for South. He goes straight back. He's got some time. Let's her flicker. Rotherham's out there being quick guarded. Nice interception made out there by number 26, Kyle Reuter. Reuter on the great coverage. Got the inside position. It was just a matter of making the catch. Yeah, he's a big kid too, 6'2". So he and Kevin Rotherham are about the same size. And that's exactly what you want to do on your cover two defense there. Good job there. And... Uh, wasn't really a jump ball. It was more just of a loft ball. And uh, Rotherham had no chance. And you're right, Kyle made a good play. Here we go for South. First and 10, ball on the 20. Schwartz trying to battle forward, but uh, not much room inside. And that'll be the uh, end of the quarter. Timeout South with four seconds remaining. Well, you can wail it down there and hope for a defensive penalty or a deflection or try to make something happen. A little surprised by that. Yeah, Schwartz picked up only a couple on that play. It was really tough going inside. This will be the last play of the quarter. It's uh, second down and eight. See, this is what I always want to do, become a defensive coordinator here. <laughs> I put, like, three guys on the 10, put, like, three guys on the 40, three more guys on the 50, rush two. Try to <laughs> score. Rush two. See if you can do it with that. Well, I mean, you got to go. That means you got to get through three lines of defense. That's why I sit up here. <laughs> I hear you. And it's fun, too. Pass and catch to Duquette. And he gets it up to about the 39-yard line. And that'll be the end of the first half with Notre Dame on top. 40 to 14. Back at South High School, some uh, halftime statistics for you. Uh, Ray Smith had 101 yards on 10 carries. Uh, the big play for him was a 73-yard gain. He also had a touchdown, not on that run, however. Uh, Taylor Schwartz had a nice uh, first half. Chris hitting on five and nine passes for 81 yards. Uh, making all the catches for the Red Wings was uh, Zach Duquette. For Notre Dame, uh, their big runner, Robert Moore, had 20 carries for 203 yards. Uh, he was pretty much the story in that first half. Uh, also, the uh, big play really played a part for uh, Notre Dame. They had a 29-yard pass play. A 29-yard run by Moore. They had a 56 and a 61-yard run runs by uh, Moore also, and also had a 35-yard fumble recovery return for a touchdown. Kevin Shane had that one. The uh, long pass play went from Rotherham to uh, McHugh. South had a 57-yard interception return for a touchdown by James Good, and a one-yard touchdown run by Smith. Notre Dame will be kicking off to start the uh, second half. Smith can't make the over-the-shoulder catch, and it goes into the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, I think you hit it on the head, Marty. Quick strikes. Yeah, you mentioned that before we went on the air about how quick their uh, possessions were. Yeah, 8 seconds a score, 11 seconds a score, intercepts or fumble recovery for a touchdown, uh, you know, minute. What did it take that chain to score his touchdown? About eight seconds? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> 11. ten? Eleven. <laughs> Eleven. Six nineteen to six oh eight. Time of possession was about 11 minutes. South had the ball to just about 13 for uh, Notre Dame. And now it's starting to drizzle out there. Maybe? Lancer trying to make the block. Bouncing outside is Smith. And he's wrestled out of bounds near the 25-yard line. Good blocking up front. And nice running. 
by Smith. He gets it up to the 25, so it's a five-yard pickup. And it is starting to rain a little bit, Marty, to add to everything else. But we don't care. Yeah, we're dry, but Brian better be ready. Brian's got the wetsuit on. Smith bouncing outside, dragging tacklers. Good run by Ray Smith. Very powerful on that run, and he gets the first down. Ray Smith with a five-yard pickup. Hard-earned, I might say. I know they're 26 points down, but I think it's real important that they get a good showing here in the second half. Get themselves ready for that Manitowoc game next week. Quick out to Brunette. He makes the catch. We got a flag down. I think it's going to be called on uh, Zach Duquette, maybe an illegal block. Pass is complete. You didn't tally the penalties, did you? No. Curious how many penalties, but they didn't call a lot either. You can see the rain coming down. It's going to be first down and 20. Schwartz drills the left side. Brunette on the catch. He's second down and about eight. Mertz coming. Mertz and Brunette both coming out. Ian Evans now into the game, number 46. Thirteen yard pickup on that play, Chris. A little bit out of the reach of uh, Anthony Hoytink, but uh, well designed play. Make it third down and eight. Gonna go with three wide receivers again, Marty. And you know what? We still have not heard number 99 being called. No, he was open on that one play when they hit Zuket for the 19 or was it 20-yarder, but uh, you're right. He's gone in motion a couple times. Do some blocking, did a good job there. there pass he is. up the middle. Andy Lancer trying to make the adjustment, but the pass was just out of his reach. I think Andy Lancer is somebody you gotta have. And well, he certainly is a big enough target. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't played more defensive end, too. Um, they don't have too many players playing both ways. As a matter of fact, I don't think they have any. Anthony Hoytink is one. Anthony did a little bit tonight, you're right. But besides from that, they're trying to go one per group. And Rotherham on the catch. Zigs and Zags gets to the corner and is out of bounds near the 50-yard line. About a 10-yard return or so. First and 10 Notre Dame, and they have great field position near midfield. They're going to spot it at the 47. Yeah, you get a good shot of the rain there. Good shot, Brian. Boy, even on the up camera, you can see it must be coming down pretty good. Dan Koopman even closes the window. Come on, Dan. Hand off to Moore, through the line of scrimmage. Somebody better make a tackle or he's gone. And making that stop was Nate Zittle. But Moore picking up a good chunky yardage again. Give him eight yards on that play. Ball spotted right on the 45. Rosnick the up back, more the deep back. 
Rotherham, first back through. Rosnick takes it up to about the 41 or 42 yard line, but it is a first down. I like that number 40. You know who that reminds me of, don't you? Will Harrell. Gallup and Gale Sayers, Chicago oh, Gale Bears. Sayers. Ball spotted on the 41. First and 10. It's Bear Packer week, Marty. We haven't even said anything. Well, we all know who's going to win. <laughs> the Bears. Well, just if they're... Uh, See if their defense outscores their offense. <laughs> <laughs> Loss on the play by Moore. Second down and 11. And off Moore on the stretch play, but uh, not much going there. He gets it back to the line of scrimmage, a one yard pickup. South playing uh, good defense so far in the second quarter. You know, they started the game that way, Chris, but, you know, we mentioned this before. We don't want to beat a dead horse too much, but the big play has really hurt them. Yep. Personal foul on South. <laughs> Looks like uh, Colin Johnson's been ejected from the ball game. No, no, it's his mouth guard is not connected properly. That was an easy fix. Let's give it to Chris Hine. <laughs> but they also assessed a penalty on that. Ay, 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 ay. Well, play hasn't even started. They didn't even put the ball in the play. I mean, he wasn't even at the line. Oh, yeah. You know, the ball was at the 41 yard line. Now all of a sudden it's down to the 35 yard line. Right, those guys can't even mark off five yards. Turns out to be six. Just a ticky tack. Wait till the play if he doesn't have it in or something. I know he's got to be set, but he... Moore running hard. I think he picked up at least 10 for the first down. He did. You know, that's just an official watching that, waiting for that to happen, and he's going to be late putting it in or something. Give me a break. How about number eight get the mouth guard in instead of throwing the penalty? Preventive officiating. That's right. They'll call a penalty on every little ticky tack thing. Rosnick, the first back through. He's wrestled down hard. Short of the 10 yard line. Picks up just a couple. Give him a pickup of one. Very Rotherham, well Rotherham, Rotherham still has it. He's running around just like Fran Tarkin and look out, boom. And now they're gonna call a penalty on the block, I believe. Rotherham got it into the end zone. Great piece of running by Kevin Rotherham going all the way to the left and then coming back to the right. I don't think so. <laughs> that was okay, a great block. I thought it was right in the shoulder. I wish we had the uh, replay. <laughs> oh, right. You could see it happening. I don't know if how right. you know what happened here on the screen. We were watching the play, but you could just see it developing. That guy was going to get blasted, and he did. Yeah, and it looked like a legal block. I mean, what the heck? It was, you know, he was kind of sideways, but I think he did get him in the shoulder. Um, but I thought the South defense read the option well, is what I was going to say, and it came back and. Now well, the ball moves back to the 25. 
So about 20 yards for a first down. Great job of running by Rotherham. Oh, yeah. Moore. There you go. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Big Jake Collin, number 75, taking a dislike in all those Red Wings on top of his ball carrier. Ball is back at the 26. That's a couple of times he's dragged uh, red shirts off the pile. Loss of one for Moore, makes a third down. When you're 6'5", 290, I guess I just got out the ball carrier as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Might okay. want to listen that, to that guy. South looking to blitz. There they come. Draw play. No, he didn't. He give it, and then he took it away from Moore. Now he fires it down the field. Coming back and making the catch, or was it? No, incomplete. Pass attempt was to Halverson, Tony Halverson, but uh, he wasn't able to come up with the catch. But uh, Rotherham making a strong throw again. Almost got it to his receiver. 5.53 remaining in the third quarter. It's still 40-14. to 14. And now on fourth down, we're going to have a long field goal attempt. Go ahead, Chris. What is it? Your 30, 40, 43. 43 yarder. McHugh, not even close. Well, in the rain, probably pretty difficult, but he had the wind. I would have given him that shot, too. I bet you he can make them. We've seen his foot. Well, I think he definitely could hit it from there. That's why they, uh, that's why they let him try it. First down south from the 20-yard line. Brunette and Mertz. With uh, Duquette in the slot. Smith alone set back. Schwartz rolling. Now he's going to tuck it in and run. And we got another penalty flag down. And you can tell by the way he makes his signal. You know, he's getting uh, upset also. When are you guys going to stop doing it? Marches south again. Inside the 20, inside the 10, down to the 9. Is it really inside the 10? Uh, it's or on the 9. Smith on the handoff. Barrels forward, not for much though. Not enough. He gets about four, four yards or so. You see the south sideline. Donna Stewart there. You no, know, he kind of wobbled off before. Taylor, a fake handoff, and his pass is batted down by Max McHugh, and that's the second time now he's made a good defensive play. He forced that fumble back in the first half, Chris, where his uh, teammate Shane, Kevin Shane, was able to pick it up and run it in for a long touch, touchdown on a fumble return. There you can see the uh, stands and the rain. Third down. Taylor, draw play, running it. He's up to the 20, and he's hit and stopped. But he moves forward to the 25, but he's going to be short of the first down. But a nice, uh, nice run by Taylor Schwartz. Got it out to the 26. 
12 yard pickup. But it's fourth down and about five. Anthony Hoytink's been a busy man. Yep, this is number five. Offense, defense, and special teams. Yeah, punt number five. And I got that one off the side of his foot. Not very good. Oh, man, they're going to spot it at the 33 or 34-yard line. Yikes, that's not even a 10-yarder. Ball spotted on the 33-yard line for Notre Dame. 4.07 remaining in the third quarter. No scoring so far here in the second half. It's 40-7. to Sal's defense has been pretty stout so far in the third. Let's see if they can maintain that. Just the second offensive possession for Notre Dame. Coming through, making a hit, but not the stop. Was well, Jamin Opkenorth, and then a couple of his teammates finally finish off Moore. No, it's Jaden. 31, Jaden. Good eyes, Chris. Finally earning your money. <laughs> uh oh, we have an injured player. That's uh, never a good thing. There's a shot of the rain. James Good. A lot of activity because uh, apparently there's uh, been lightning coming upon the scene. And there you see the uh, Notre Dame. I don't know if you can get a picture of that from the top camera. Notre Dame is starting to head off the field. There you can see Notre Dame across the field south uh, starting to file off. While uh, we wait out the uh, the, re the required 30-minute wait until the lightning stops, which might be longer if it uh, continues to be in the area, but uh, you guys won't have to worry about that because when we come back, we'll have football action if they uh, resume play tonight, which I would think they would. They'll wait this out. So, Kerry, why don't you turn her off, and uh, when we're ready to play, we'll come back. He's hit and dropped at about the 30. Pick up of a couple yards. The beauty of tape delay is that we just went through an hour and a half rain delay. And the fans that are watching this broadcast, it's like a 10 second delay. We got a new cameraman up on top. I don't know who it is, but we gotta get uh, focused on the field. Here comes the offense. Rotherham is at quarterback. Handoff, fake handoff, rolling left, fires deep. He's got his man out there, touchdown. Andrew Fabry, the other quarterback. Well, as you said, Marty, the delay. I was trying to figure out how many yards that play was, 31. And uh, Notre Dame comes out and gets another one, and there's an extra point. So just like that, oh, we. 47 to 14. They had a good warm-up session, Chris. <laughs> he yeah. scored right away. On the second play, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> really? Like I said, it's been an hour and a half. You guys probably don't see that, but uh, we waited here. And... Uh, there's still a cross rain coming north to south. Well, Rotherham certainly got things started in a big way with uh, 
roll out left and threw the ball across his body and got it down to his receiver. The sometimes other quarterback, Andrew Fabre, and uh, Notre Dame has another score on the board. They're first of the second half. South has uh, actually played pretty good defense in the third quarter until that play. Kick is back, taken by Hoytink. Tries to leap a defender, but is pulled down short of the 20 yard line near the 15. And for the, I can't even count how many times that South has started inside the 20 tonight. No different here, Hoytink out. Taylor Schwartz back out there. Looks like they're going back to their three receiver set. Burnett, Duquette, and Mertz. Here we go. Short straight back. Fires over the middle to Lancer. Pass is incomplete. Second down and 10. Three wide receivers, two to the left, one to the right. Smith alone set back. Schwartz, a short drop, fires well over the head of his intended receiver, Zach Duquette. Taylor having a uh, rough third quarter, Chris. He's hit on one of six passes. In the first half, he was uh, five for nine. Third and 10. There you can see the cross rain there. Going right in the face of Taylor. Schwartz rifles one out to Brunette. He's got it. And he's hit down over the 25 yard line. It's gonna be close to a first down. I think he might have it. Ball is spotted at the 26th. So that's an 11 yard pickup, first and 10 south. Dennis, did you announce no problem was fouled? Yeah. Just did. Green and white? Oh, no. no. Sorry. It was wet. <laughs> it was, yeah, it's in white. Deaner the up back, Smith the deep back. Hand off to Smith. Bounces it around the left end. Spins to try and avoid the tackle, but is knocked down. It's oh, always yeah. tough to run on that short side, Marty. Well, I think what they try to do in that situation is catch the defense shifted over to the wide side, and, uh, you know, that's the theory behind it. Ball is spotted at the 29-yard line to pick up a three yards. That's a good spin move there. Schwartz rolling. Rifles one out to Duquette. He's got it. He's got the first down out to about the 45 yard line. Another nice pass and catch. That one to Zach Duquette. And that's his sixth catch of the game, Chris. Wow, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of teams that don't throw six times a night. Ball is spotted on the 44 yard line. That's a pickup of 15 yards. Quick out to Duquette, he makes a catch, avoids a couple of tacklers and drags tacklers out near the 50 yard line. He's putting uh, his all conference uh, resume together tonight. He might have something there, Chris. Second down and about, make it six, pick up a four on that play. Quick pass out to Duquette, he couldn't hang on. Pass goes incomplete. Good thing there by Taylor. Slapping him a little bit there. Good job, it's okay if you drop one. You've had a pretty good night. We'll connect on the next one. Well, South so far in the quarter, Chris has thrown 10 times and only run the ball six. 
Third down and six. Duquette in motion. Quick out again to Duquette and uh, couldn't quite make the catch. Same play. I thought the official was reaching for his flag, but he figured it was an incomplete pass. He didn't have to call a penalty. White team coming in to punt on fourth down. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw a fake though, Chris. 59 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Smith, yup back? No. Yes, he is, but they didn't give it to him. Kick is away. Rotherham makes the catch. He's got running room. He's got a big lane out on the left side. Gets a good block. Penalty He's, flag down him. He eludes one tackler, eludes another one. He's going to go the route. All the way for a touchdown. It's about an 80 yarder, but Chris did say there was a flag down, so we'll have to see if it counts. There was a flag down early. It appeared to be a blocking penalty. Illegal procedure on South? Yeah, it was way early, Marty, these flag. This was a way early one. A decline. Chris, see if you can find uh, how far, ask one of those guys what the distance of that punt return was. Good snap and kick, and McHugh's got the extra point. That makes it 54 to 14. How long was that one? 78. 78 yards on the punt return by Rotherham, and uh, he's definitely making a statement. Still in the third quarter, there's 40 seconds remaining, and uh, with the score being what it is, 40 points, we're going to now see the mercy clock. That means the clock runs, and uh, which means it could be a f short fourth quarter. Well, it only stops on timeouts and on scores. And extra points. <laughs> <laughs> and you should uh, definitely see a bunch of white, new white shirts out there, that's for sure, and I'd be shocked if to see any of those guys out there risking injury now. Phil Risto with a great statement. We also stopped the clock at the end of the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coop, you need all the help you can get. <laughs> Smith has it on the reverse. Steps out of bounds at the 25-yard line, and we got a penalty flag. Of course. Of course that yellow flag is out. Holding Absolutely. on south. These guys got to stick it in their pockets sometimes. Well, we, we commented on the uh, amount of penalties being called through the course of the game, and I think we had nine that we counted up on my sheets. We know that it's more than that because uh, there were some penalties that were declined. But uh, it's been a lot. We're in the double figures for sure. Well, and how many have been declined? Because That's we right. had just the last one there again. I mean, there's had to be four to five, maybe more than that. First and 10 south. Ball is spotted. We'll call it, uh, it's just short of the 10-yard line, so we'll call it the nine. But the next catch is how many penalties on Notre Dame? Timeout on uh, timeout Notre Dame. We don't know what the situation was there, but uh, when we did the the preseason show, Chris, and uh, we talked to North and South and uh, Luther and Kohler, this was one of the games we were really looking forward to. Yes, and I think, <laughs> and, and this was something you mentioned in the opening, which our fans didn't see that North and South were picked. Uh, North and no, Notre Dame. And Notre South. Dame and South were picked for near the top. Yeah, and uh, according to the media, I mean, South was picked one and Notre Dame two, and you picked South and <laughs> I picked Notre Dame, but I thought South would be right there and just didn't turn out that way, and sometimes you have days like this, and we talked about it with a bunch of people in our break here, and we just don't think Notre Dame's that far ahead of them, but 
Obviously, they're showing a lot of things, and they do have some weapons. Yep. Well, they're making the big plays, that's for sure. I've got them written down. You know, we'll talk about them a little bit later and as we go through the fourth quarter, but uh, they've got a ton of big plays, and uh, that's been a bugaboo for uh, South in the first two games. Pass is complete to Duquette. It's going to be second down. Pick up a six yards. Second down and four, and that's the end of the four, third quarter. Three quarters in the book, and it's Notre Dame 54, South 14. We should be a quick 15 minutes here, and this pickle will be done. In real time, it's uh, just after 10.30 at night. We had about an hour and a half rain delay. I think it was just short of uh, 9 o'clock when uh, the referees sent the teams off the field because of the lightning, and uh, that went for a long time. Second down and four. Sheboygan South. Ball is on the 15 yard line. Quick out to Duquette. Struggling up over the 25. It's going to be a first down south. First and ten. Another penalty. <sighs> Personal foul on South. Way on the sidelines. Way after the play is over. Clock is still running. It started at, as you know, 12 minutes. It's down to 11:20. But another penalty. Wall did get up to the 26, so it was an 11-yard pickup for the penalty on South. And they're back inside the 15. So the ball is spotted at the 13-yard line. First and 10. That's about the only good thing about it. It's still a first and 10. So we'll give uh, the pass completion to Dequet for 11 yards, and then after the play came the penalty. And now they're going to move the sticks down. So I think uh, they'll be at about the 26. North will have to, or pardon me, South will have to get to the 36-yard line for a first down, which means it's uh, 23 yards for a first down. Should be first and 25. But... <laughs> Well, it, it, the reason it gets kind of goofy is because they do it from the spot of the foul, which right. may not be where the ball was last right. down. Another quick out. Oh, Duquette hit hard. But uh, gets it up over the 20. Ball is spotted on the... They get the 22-yard line, nine-yard pickup on that last play. Handoff to Smith. He barrels up the middle over the 25. Well, Notre Dame has all fresh jerseys out there. It's going to be third down and 10. Big handoff, Taylor rolling out, throwing across his body. Couldn't get a lot on it, but uh, Hoytink did make the catch. 
It's going to be fourth down now. Pickup of about four yards on that play. White Tink back to punt. Nobody back for Notre Dame. They're going for the block. I don't think they're going for the block. I think they're playing it safe just so they don't have a fake, Marty. Uh, you know, they're going to come forward, but I just don't think they're really. Good point. I don't think they sent all 11 guys. I mean, if they go through the line, that's what they did there. You know what would have really been a bummer? <laughs> Bad snap. <laughs> oh, cry. They're giving it to you. I think they're just playing it straight, you know, defense in case of a fake. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Anthony got a great punt. That was about a 50-yarder. Ball spotted on about the 15-yard line. It's going to be first and 10, Notre Dame. 55 yards. <laughs> yeah, he, he boomed. got a great roll. A new quarterback, new running back. Matt Meyer, number 13, was the quarterback. Wellhouse was the runner. Wellhouse was the runner. What number is Wellhouse? 47. Wellhouse uh, for no gain on that play. Make it second down and 10. Ball still on about the 15 yard line. Meyer under center. Wellhouse again on the carry and gets very little. It's going to be third down and nine. Clock running, we're at uh, 625. It's 54 to 14, Notre Dame on top. Uh, they have uh, took control early and had a lot of big plays to build up this big lead. Uh, I don't think he could get the handoff. He missed on the handoff. Did uh, Meyer, and he winds up carrying the ball out near the 20 yard line. Fourth down. Pick up a four yards. Well, they don't got the second string punter in, though. <laughs> no, but the rest of them are. Smith is back deep. Uh, not a good bounce, but he does get a bit of a roll. Gets out over the 45, between the 46 and 47 yard line. Not a real great punt. South will have it in Notre Dame territory. We'll call it the 46. Well, next Friday we'll be back here and hopefully yeah. things will improve. I hope the Northsiders aren't mad at us for doing Hey, there's Fritz and up there. And uh, Roxanne. Smith on the carry, pounding off tackle. Picks up about two or three yards. Mantwalk did defeat North tonight. Yeah, we got 20, that score already. 27 to nothing. And he didn't get too much rain over in Manitowoc. Now at quarterback, did you mention John Kabai? No, I didn't. I'm glad you did, though. John Kabai at quarterback, dropping straight back. Fires one up the middle over the intended receiver. Travis Brunette. Alex Martin in there, number 50. Number 60, Jeff Cole is in there. For Sheboygan South. Hoytink and Smith in the backfield behind Kabai. Whistle. Stops action. 
the crew tonight, we have uh, Steve Reiner, Brian Andrews, Roxanne Cahan on camera, switching around in the bad weather. Kerry Kautzer spinning the dials in the truck. Steve Goodwin, the gopher tonight. My partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. We're down to 325 and counting in the ball game. Another guy on the line is Kelvin Wink. He's a junior, number 74. Another motion penalty, by the way, Marty. Yeah, third down at about 13. Smith hammered down, picks up maybe a yard or two. Tony Hoyten coming in for his eighth punt. Jeez. He gets it away. What? Let it roll for a while. <laughs> Ain't out loud. <laughs> Great is that guy in. <laughs> He's a senior. Come on. I ain't even mention your name for doing that. All right. You know, I don't want to make a big deal about that, but <laughs> well, think because of we're it. here. <laughs> well, you know, you got to play the game the right way. Yeah. I mean, this. I mean, it's a blowout. You know, Notre Dame's going to win, but you got games down the road. You got to do things right all the time, not just now. I'll tell you, that kid's running hard. Number 22 is Nick Hamachek. Pick up of seven yards by Hamachek. He was running like a man possessed. Long count. On the parry that time was Garrett Wellhouse. We called his number before tonight. He picks up enough yardage for the first down. We're down to uh, a minute and counting in the ball game. Ball is up to the 29 yard line. A pickup of four yards by Wellhouse. Well, it'll be interesting to see how Notre Dame goes throughout their season Prebles in front of them yet and Wellhouse again not much there man to talk to some of these teams we'll have to see how they do but they uh, came down here and beat a Sheboygan South team which I'm sure on their schedule they thought the same as everybody else that this was going to be a tough tussle and they're going to walk away with a big 40 point victory we're down to 20 seconds and counting Matt Meyer standing there letting the clock run out. And that'll do it. Notre Dame wins it 54 to 14. We're going to do a real quick wrap up. Chris, we got a game next week. Manitowoc coming to South. Uh, South needs to have another good week of practice. Hopefully they can pick it up for the game next week. Yeah, they got to, again, like I said in the opening, this is one of those games you just got to forget about and got to take care of business and win four of your last six games or so uh you know basically on the uh to make the playoffs and that's got to be your goal so you got to forget about this and think about playoffs and what what we have to do to beat Manitowoc turn things around uh obviously there's lots of things uh looking at my stat sheet a little bit here Marty Notre Dame basically scored almost every time they had the football and um just incredible and in how they just struck so quickly well we saw why Rotherham was uh a pick for all conference preseason. Uh, one more time, first of all, a good job by the crew. Uh, did an outstanding job and uh, was a tough break that we had to wait around for an hour and a half to finish up the game. But uh, there you see it, the final score, Notre Dame 54, 
South 14. We'll be back here next week when uh, Manitowoc invades Red Wing territory. For my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying so long everybody and thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.